All right, we're back. Today we're gonna paint a uh, Hinkle Shad Mini knockoff. It's called the Hinko Mini, Hinko Ko Mini, from uh, Alternative Lures. Um, we started out with sealing it. Uh, we used this uh, Auto Born uh, sealer, six thousand transparent sealer. And, uh, and then we base coated it in uh, white. Uh, we used the uh, Amsterdam uh, acrylic ink in titanium white. And then we put some Createx pearlized white over that. And then we put a uh, one spray layer of clear coat. Uh, we use the diamond coat clear finish. Um, now we're going to go ahead and add some of this color that I mixed up. Uh, it is a sort of color shift from uh, Hobby Lobby. Okay. And... We're going to spray that on the belly half and the gill plates. So we'll go ahead and get that on. Get that in the gun. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got kind of like this pinkish, purplish hue to it. We'll go ahead and heat set that and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So next, uh, what we're gonna do on the lateral line is we're gonna add this Wicked Colors fluorescent yellow. Um, turned our air down. And we're just gonna add this in here. Not worried about overspray. It definitely looks like I'm a little unstable today, but not too worried about it. Let me get it inside of there. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead and heat set that, clean the gun, and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So for our next color, um, we're going to use this Carbon Black uh, by Golden. Um, we're going to add that to the back 
uh, all the top half of the bait and the back uh, up and over the gill plate and down um, and we're gonna add scales uh, over the top of that uh, later so all right let's go ahead and get that on Just keep layering it till I get it just right. Okay. With the clear coat on there, it's kind of I don't know. Uh, it needs. It's definitely going to need a couple coats, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the other side, the back, uh, and a second coat, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So now we're going to use the black again. Um, we're going to go ahead and put some in the indentations on all the gill plate. Um, it'll add a little bit more uh, 3D effect to it. And then we're going to do a wash over it. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that going. I don't think I'm going to do a wash on it. I think I'm just going to leave it. Um, so we'll go ahead and heat set that. Uh, do the other side. And we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So for the next color, we're going to use this uh, Vallejo color shift. Um, it is the green, blue, violet. Alright, we're going to go ahead and add that. Uh, to basically the whole bait. Um, we're going to start out with the back and uh, top part of the the back, and uh, and then then we'll do the gill plate and the uh, belly.
as you can see, uh, it's color shifting like crazy in there. Blue, purple, green. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and get the gun cleaned out, get this heat set in, and uh, we'll be back with the next color. All right. We're back. So for our next color, we're going to use this Amsterdam ink light gold. And we are going to go and use a scale pattern uh, over all the color shift portions of the bait. Okay. We're not going to put it on too heavy. We're really going to put it on a little light. A um, little more than light, but not too too light, not too heavy, just right. So, um, we'll go ahead and get that laid up here. A little more than that. I don't know if I can get it back. Right there. Okay. Move it over. We'll do the do the back. Heat set that real quick. I'll go ahead and clean off our stencil. We'll go ahead and get that heat set and we'll get to our uh, next color. We'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So, for our next color, uh, we're going to use this Amsterdam Acrylic Ink Silver. We're going to do scale pattern again, but this time we're going to do it on the belly portion. We're just setting up our stencil in that way that it doesn't get on the lateral line or anything above that. We're going to do a little heavy towards the top and light towards the belly. A little bit of low heat, just so it don't run. 
and we don't smear it when we get to our next uh, portion of the bait. Huh? Give it some low heat. Alright. Look at here is how far down did it go? Looks good. I think I need to get a little bit in here so. We'll go ahead and get some in here. Stencil off. Give it some low heat. A little heat again. So we got this lure from uh, Alternative Lures. Um, comes with a thin kit, split rings. Uh, it does come with eyes. Uh, really like this bait a lot. Um, but definitely need to seal it uh, so that way water don't get in the belly of it. 
Um, but I did have some issues with it uh, already getting water in it, so we sealed it really good and uh, we should be good. Alright, so uh, now we'll go ahead and um, uh, clean the brush out and we'll be back with another color. Alright, we're back. So for our next color, we're going to go back to the... Uh, we're going to go to a Amsterdam Acrylic Ink Oxide Black. And we are going to make our uh, shad dots with it. Um, we are going to use this stencil. Uh, it's the Scale V10 stencil. Um, got it from Whitmore Farms. Alright. Um, we're going to use the second to last one. Um on this one okay. go ahead and flip it around and do the other side We'll go ahead and heat set that and uh, actually before we heat set it we're going to go ahead and darken in these eyes. Okay. Do the other side. Then we'll heat set it. And then and then we'll go ahead and uh, get our eyes out. All right, we'll go ahead and heat set that. And be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, I don't have the eyes that I want. Um really wanted the ones these are from lure built too but uh the ones i wanted uh are glass eyes but that's all right <clears throat> these will look really good um show you these eyes it worked just fine Put a little dot on there of super glue. Personally, like I say, I, I like to always put my eyes backwards so it looks like it's uh, looking back at the fish that's trying to eat it. That's what we're going to do here. I'll go ahead and get those in there. Okay. Flip it over. All right. I think those look really good in there. But looking pretty good. Like it so far. All right. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna put uh, oh gosh a whole bunch of clear coats on this because um, I do like to use that diamond uh, KBS diamond. 
uh, clear finish on it. Uh, I think that it just it doesn't either overweight it or it doesn't get lumpy um, and uh, it's just easier to put on it goes out you know goes on a lot uh, thinner and uh, even so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a whole bunch of clear coats on it uh, and then we're gonna glue in the fin kit um, we'll be uh, when I do the fin kit um, I will show you and we'll be right back all right we're back so we've got her all clear coated up um, she's still a little tacky um, so we're gonna keep her in the helping hands um, we've got the uh, fin kit here and I'll show you that all right you do get some hooks, some split rings, which we're not going to do right now because it's too tacky. Put those on later. Okay. But you get all your pectoral fins, your top fin, your dorsal fin, um, your tail fin, and everything else. Alright. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and start gluing them in. Uh, what I've done is I went and purchased some of this uh, Starbond uh, Super Fast Thin uh, Super Glue. Um, you, I got this really thin tip on it. you got to be very careful. This stuff will come out fast and get all over the place. So... Um, We'll go ahead and be careful here. And we'll get these in. So, I want to get enough in there, a little bit here and here. And I'll go ahead and set it in there. Boom, once you get it in there, that's it. Just tap it down. Don't try to put it in too much here. You will squeeze out. Um, so we'll go ahead and get the next one. to the same side no I think this is just a little off or something oh there we go okay Put that one on there all right so next I don't know if you can see but I'm going to put the back fin in there. Oh. Got that on the stick. Okay, sticking. Top pin in there. Okay. That stuff gets tacky real quick, but uh, like I said, you just want to be careful with it. Get 
the next one. I'll do that. See what I'm saying? Just take it quick. All right, got that in there. Without too many problems there. Give me a second here and I'll give you a better view with uh, some better light. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Man, she looks amazing. In that back. Looks really good. That color shift through the gold scales. Um, it's hard for you guys to probably see, but the color shift through the silver scales, oh, it came out real good. She looks good. Very, very, very happy with how this turned out. But, yeah, came out real good. Just want to uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. That way I can make more of these videos for you. Um, come up with some new patterns and stuff and if there's anything you'd like to uh, to see, please let me know. <clears throat> so, when I purchased these, I also purchased uh, the big version of this, which uh, has uh, molded in scales um, and a fin kit uh, with split rings and hooks as well. Um, but I did go ahead and paint one of those as well. Um, Y'all can tell me if you like uh, this bait and if you would like to see it painted uh, on video. Alright. So, alright. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.